Good morning and welcome back to the Dogs What's It's channel. We are back on Skybound. Right, um, I can't remember. Yes, excuse my skin today. I haven't changed it back. I was doing a little bit of fun last night. Yeah. I have sort of built a house, it's not finished, I um, need more concrete, not really happy with the roof. I'll probably change it at some point in the future but yeah for now that's what it is. So we have a house with our storage room in, um, I've left gaps for the wood that we don't have yet nice view of the sunset yeah <laughs> it's a bit open plan at the moment but hey ho it's in progress right so what was our mission because I can't remember compress craft compressed gap <clears throat> craft compressed gravel that's easy enough to do. Oh yeah, I moved the fishing machine because it just wasn't getting anything where it was. So I've shoved it in there. I haven't put a hopper underneath it yet. And yeah, it's filling up with... It's got a few goodies. That's a decent enough bow. But yeah, it's just passively working. Started on cows because we've got to start. We've got to sort an enchantment room soon because we're already at level twenty-eight. This guy very, very, very slowly gives us dirt, extremely slowly. <laughs> Aha, you're done. Well, have you? And top you up with water. Refill for next time. Right, so compressed gravel. Don't think we're gonna have enough gravel to do it. So yeah, I upgraded this thing as well. Haven't noticed much of a difference for the upgrade. And I also upgraded the f the mesh. We did a flint one first, and then an iron one. Is it any better? I'm getting a few more diamond chunks out of it. So we're just going to grind up some cobble to gravel. Looking forward to when this gets automated. Right, that should be enough. Compressed gravel. Done. Yeah, I've switched that to it was our pot over there that was doing the wood. We're not really using much wood at the moment, so I've switched it to sugarcane. Because yeah, we've got to get an enchantment area sorted soon. Because I need a silk touch pick. Right, that gives us another power token. Craft and place down a block compressor. Okay, let's go see what we need to do with that. A block compressor. Um, that's that thing. Right, so we need two redstone, a piston, a hopper, fence, ok, 
Okay, do we have redstone? We do! Yeah, I have a power token. Yeah, my inventory is still full. <laughs> it's always full. I should have put power token up there. Hey, yeah. Right, um, piston. Hopper. We're going to need some more redstone for the piston, I think. One piston. We need a fence. Done. Right. Um, where are we going to put it? We'll have to put it with these machines, which is going to encroach on the bedroom. But hey, ho. Right. That's another quest done. The block compressor, you can chuck nine blocks at it and it'll auto compress for you. Um, craft a set of conveyor belts. Okay, we do have a load of conveyors, so let's see if we can just. get them out and see yeah that'll accept that cool right, let's pop some stuff away because we seem to be carrying a lot of junk I don't really like the. I love the animation for the block compressor. Don't get me wrong, but I don't like that it's. If you give it more than nine blocks, you don't get your blocks back. <coughs> Is the best way I can describe it. It does come in handy late game though when we set it all up to be automated which we will need to build a factory area for that so all these machines will be moving and that but yeah we can set it up factory style so that that poops out um, cobblestone which then gets compressed by this thing goes into a heavy sieve and yeah we can automate it all basically but we're not quite there yet. Um, right, so we we did it, didn't we? Yep. Uh, visit the florist villager and buy a mortar and pestle. Okay. So we did get another storage upgrade. Um, and another power token. Right. Um, we don't have many coins, but we'll give it a go. Let's go see how much it is for a pestle and mortar. I think this is where we get into the super flowers. Right, florist, where are you? Lumberjack, shepherd, hello dadcraft, jeweler, his Tom, that's not one that I've heard of. Farmer, Fisher, come on, florist, where are you? Chef, florist, hello. Three of them. We had enough.
Now you have everything to make a giant sunflower. Place the sunflower down, then use the super fertilizer to make it grow huge. Once it has grown, harvest the yellow petal blocks and create yellow dye with mortar and pestle. Place down a sunflower, use super fertilizer on the sunflower. Okay. Um, where are we going to put a giant sunflower? Yeah, we need to expand the island again because it's too small and it's very janky at the moment. Um, <coughs> we'll pop it here. Right, so one sunflower. We have some super fertilizer. And now we have a giant sunflower. And by golly, is that giant? <laughs> it's huge. That big, we can't see it. Only problem is, if I remember right from last time, mobs can spawn on it. So I'll put one there. just to hopefully prevent mob spawning on it. I'll have to make some more torches though at some point. Right, how are you doing? Are you getting there? Oh yeah, I need a lot more blackstone to finish the roof, even though that roof is probably not staying. It's just a temporary roof for now. Until I can be bothered to make a lot more concrete. Because <clears throat> yeah, it definitely looks better in the white concrete. Right, so we've done that mission. <clears throat> and now the quest done. Um, now we're going to make a super melon. Okay. Um, again, we need space. <laughs> uh, we don't have space for a super melon. And we don't have enough dirt from the chicken to expand it. We may have to run off to the island and Go, yeah, I think we have to go get a load more dirt. grab some more dirt because yeah we don't have the space for a super melon um, arcade is that way I believe again this is something that I should have done off stream but didn't <laughs> I do love going really fast on there. Yeah, we've not had many lucky blocks this time. This is where I steal all the dirt from.
That'll do. I should give us enough space to do the melon at least. Anyway, I'll come back for some more another time and expand the island properly. Alright, let's pop another platform in between the two, I think. some more torches <clears throat> right we need the melon seeds don't we <clears throat> And a hoe. Right, let's go and super fertilize. It makes a wonderful squishy noise when you harvest it. I'm currently stuck in a block. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Whoa, yeah, we're going to have to be careful of that. <laughs> I need to protect myself from doing that because you know I'm gonna. <laughs>
sorted. Kind of. <laughs> right, next mission. We're flying through missions today. Rare loot key and a purple prize box. Thank you. Right, we've got to create a cow in a jar. Forgotten about them. That'll give us a lucky block and a gold coin. Right, we're going to need a load of iron because we need an anvil. Um, do we have enough iron? I don't think we're going to. No, we definitely don't have enough iron. Alright, so let's open this. Okay, we'll open this prize box and then I think we shall leave it here. Ooh, we got a purple. Oh, and we got a sofa. Cool. Oh, it's not a sofa, it's a chair. Is it a chair? Is it a sofa? It's the chair. We got a poster. We got a cow in a jar. Come on, ting at me. Have I got to place it down somewhere, maybe? Well, that couldn't have come at a better time, could it? <clears throat> Right, we'll place it down here for now. Yep. Yay! <clears throat> but yeah, to get a cow in a jar, you've got to put a glass block down, get the cow to stand on the glass block, and then drop an anvil on its head. Alright, let's have a nose and see what our poster is. Bottom, that one's top. That one's top. I find the button. <laughs> okay then. Cow, bog off. Right, we can pop an armchair in the bedroom. And you can actually sit on them. And you can dye them as well. So yeah, that's going to get made purple. Because <laughs> we can. Right, I can't remember whether you click on it with purple or whether you have to dye it in the crafting tape. No, nope, you just click on it. Cool. So yeah, we now have a purple armchair. Pestle and mark can go in there. We don't really use it. I know you can use it on the flower petal blocks to make dye. Um, I need some empty inventory because it said that we'd got a lucky block, didn't it? Oh, I've got dirt in here. All the way. That can go in there for now. Put some tools away because we don't need that many. Right, so let's go and claim our reward. Right, this is a difficult one to do. Go and obtain an iron chicken. You can buy it for one diamond coin or win it in the arcade. Buy or win an iron chicken. Right, that ain't easy to do. Um, You can get them on, I think it's catch the chicken. 
Right, so we've got two rare loot keys now. Um, how many keys do we need to combine to get another epic? Four. So it's four keys to combine. Right, so we now need a diamond coin to unlock the chicken guy, which is going to be a lot of grinding. So we'll have a little nosy to see what we've got to do to unlock him. But yeah, I know this mission is a difficult one. It was last time. So, which one's the chicken guy? Not that one. Not that one. Come on. There you are. Chicken villager. So, in order to get to the iron chicken, we've got to unlock him. Yeah, there's the iron chicken there, which costs a diamond block. So, we've got to buy... Oh, dirt chickens would be good. We've got to buy a load of chickens to unlock it. As you will buy that, and it only moves a tiny bit. Um, or we can win it, <clears throat> which you can win it from playing Catch the Chicken, I believe. It gave us three gold coins to start with. Mm. We could try playing Catch the Chicken three times. And then if that doesn't work, then we could do the grindy route. Because we need a diamond coin. That's going to take a lot to get. Right, let's see what we get in our lucky block. You never know. Could be an iron chicken. <laughs> I very much doubt it, but it could be something good. No, we got weakness. Great! And slowness. <laughs> well, that wasn't a very lucky lucky block. But at least it's done. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching. We got a lot of quests done, but the next one is a difficult one to do. So, let me know what you think. How should we do it? Should we try playing Catch the Chicken? And see if we get rewarded one that way? Or do we just use the three gold coins as the head start to the grind of getting a diamond coin? Um, how would we get a diamond coin? Let's have a look. So, to get a diamond coin, we need nine gold coins. So, if we take the three that we've already got... That's a head start. Um, but it's not just about getting the diamond coin, it's also about unlocking the chicken guy enough to be able to purchase it. So even once we've got our diamond coin, we're still not going to be able to buy it. We're going to have to buy a ton of chickens off of him. To unlock him enough so that we can purchase the iron one. So we've got grass chicken, see these all cost iron coins. Grass chicken, which 
you know, it really doesn't move it much. Copper, copper one seems to move it more than the gra than the iron one would. Yeah, I think we just have to buy 20 million nets. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference between... Yeah, anyways, we will tackle that next episode, because that is a grind and a half. I will see you all next time. I hope you'll give me a like, subscribe, a follow, all the usual stuff. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.